so far, webmasters have been willing to give up uh, the content or give Google access to our content because every time we got I mean, something we have traffic. Now, as I understand, you want to move Google more towards an answering machine where based on, on our content, you can give the answer within Google. How do you, um, how are you going to provide some value back to us so that we still want to give you that information? <laughs> now, that's a very good question. A and the question is, is we think about it all the time. It's an important question. Uh, there are two things that I've learned in doing this for so many years. If you build a great search engine for our users, they search more. So clearly, for their first query, if there's an obvious answer, height of Mount Everest, you give them that answer, their curiosity is beat. They do another query. The number of queries goes up. And you know what? Every time we have improved our search results this way, the amount of traffic that we send out to the web goes up because simply people are spending less time digging around and they're spending more time doing more things. At the end of the day, the most valuable thing is time because you can't make it. And as and when we give people succinct answers to things, they go do more searching because their needs are broader than just this answer. That's the first aspect of things. And the second aspect of things, from my perspective, is that a website should be providing a lot of value to the users. If there's a website out there whose job is to answer the query 2 plus 2, they will have to move higher in the value chain. Because you know what? Anyone would put four up there in the result page. No one is looking to go to pages and figure out what two plus two really is. So the answer is indeed twofold. Providing these succinct answers to the users gives them more time to search, and they search more, and the web grows. We are all in this.